Hello, today we are talking about five misconceptions about forgiveness. And I'm taking it from my book, The Healing of the Heart. The Healing of the Heart. Five misconceptions of forgiveness. There are so many misconceptions about forgiveness that makes it very hard for people to forgive. Hello, my name is Kwame Frempon. I am an associate licensed professional counselor and this channel is for relationships, mental health and self-improvement. If you are here for the first time, please consider uh, subscribing to our channel. We need you to help us subscribe to our channel right now. Just hit the subscription button and leave your notification on so you can receive alert from our weekly videos. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. This is KF Life Coaching. Thank you for watching. So today the conversation is five misconceptions about forgiveness. Five misconceptions of, of forgiveness. If you don't have an accurate understanding of forgiveness, it becomes difficult to practice it. It's very difficult to practice it because of we 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 don't have a, a good often we don't have a good understanding of forgiveness. So it it puts people in a bondage and it makes it hard to even release your own past issues or to release pain from people from your heart or to be able to move forward because not understanding forgiveness can put you in a bondage. So it is important for us to understand the biblical uh, understanding or description or meaning of forgiveness. So number one misconception is forgive and forget. I hear that all the time. And when I hear it, I tell people, okay, so give me the scripture where the Bible says we should forgive and we should forget. There is no scripture that says we should forgive and forget. It rhymes good, forgive and forget. Just forgive, just, just forget. That phrase is not in the Bible anywhere. Now, having said that, sometimes we are able to forget, all right? And time heals. Time is good. With time, you are able to heal and move on. You know, even though the faster you heal, the better. But time, time is good. Some of you, when you look back 20 years ago, some things that you dealt with, thank God for healing. Times provide healing. God heals. Many things happen that brings healing. So sometimes you are able to forget, but sometimes you don't. In fact, when Joseph's brothers came to him and when he recognized them, they did not recognize Joseph, but when he recognized them, he knew hey, the people were here. And he cried. Why? Because maybe 15 years later, he remembered what they did. He knew the story, the narrative. He, he just knew it. But he had forgiven them. That's why he said, am I in the place of God? That means he remembered the event. But he had completely forgiven them. He had not forgotten the event. So I always use, use you know, scenarios like you may have some... You know, when you were a child and you were playing, somebody hurt you. You have some scar on your on your on your body. You can remember the event. You know, you remember the event, but that doesn't mean that there's pain in there. So sometimes you are able to forget. Other times you may not be able to forget. That doesn't mean that you haven't practiced forgiveness. It is a misconception that if I haven't forgotten, then I haven't forgiven. That is not the case. The forgiveness is the decision to release is the ability to give it to God. That doesn't mean that I have to forget it. So it puts you in bondage. Number two, second uh, misconception of forgiveness is that, that people feel like forgiveness and reconciliation should be the same. And they should not be. You know, it is possible to forgive someone, but it is possible to part ways. Really, yes. That's the truth. It's a hard truth, but that is the truth. Now, you don't have to always be in a relationship, but you must love everybody, but you must qualify relationships. 
and you can for, for forgiveness you must forgive you should forgive because it's for your own good however it doesn't mean that people say well if you are forgiving then you have to always uh, uh, go back to the to how it used to be it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like that now it doesn't also mean that you should be enemies or you, that the relationship must be estranged it doesn't it doesn't have to be like that and that is why you need to talk to a professional counselor because of the nitty gritty of the things, of things, how to work through that. Maybe between you and your child, you and your cousin, you and your brother-in-law, sister-in-law, or different things, different relationship dynamics going on. You know, forgiveness does not always mean reconciliation. We must reconcile. God wants us to reconcile to the world. I'm talking about specific situations and relationship dynamics. You need that's why you need to have someone to talk to, maybe your pastor or your professional counselor, to help you navigate through that. Um, because if you are going to say, well, forgiveness doesn't mean reconciliation, so you are, you are not going to be talking to people. At the time come, you, you, are, you will not be a friend to anybody <laughs> because everybody can hurt you. Okay, so number three. Forgiveness does not automatically mean trust. You know, I hear people all the time, well, he, you know, they have to trust me. Really? Because forgiveness and trust are not the same. Forgiveness is the ability for me to release you from the edge, to bear grudge or to revenge, to be able to let it go, to release the... The word forgiveness simply means release, to release people the past issues from my heart. But when you, you release what people have done, they have broken trust and they must earn trust. Trust must be built and people must help you build trust again. So if you're always telling somebody, he must trust me, she must trust me and forget and forget, you are making it even harder for people to, to build the trust that will help the relationship. Relationship doesn't um, lead lead trust. It is trust that leads relationship. The more I trust you, the more we, we relate. That is why we must be careful that we don't break people's trust. Relationship forgiveness does not mean immediately trust. People must build. People must earn trust. Um, the, n number four misconception is that if I forgive, then immediately I must not have any pain on the inside of me. That is not always the case. Sometimes you are able to forgive and be free from pain. But other times you are not able to do that. Because forgiveness is a mindset. It is also an emotional situation. And sometimes while you are able to forgive in the mind, it takes time to heal in the heart. And sometimes while you have forgiven in the mind, it takes time to experience healing inside. So it doesn't always mean that the pain will go away, but it means that you have opened the door for healing to take place. Okay, number five. Forgiveness does not mean deny the existence of an offense. It doesn't mean that you are denying the existence of the offense. It doesn't mean that or that you are allowing the person to keep on offending you. It doesn't mean that. Forgiveness has nothing to do with the, with the fact that uh, we must not, we must deny the existence of what happened. No, we must talk about it. We got to talk about it. In love, in humility, in the fear of God, but we must talk about it. So I hope that these five tips will help you to experience forgiveness move forward and get healed from your past because God has great things in store for you. God bless.